Let's look at the grid then for this third and final heat for X30 Senior. Martin Alger has pole position. Alongside him on the front row is Alex Johnson, who's had his move up to this level this season. Roy Johnson and Joseph Ahrens are on the second row of the grid for their final heat. Scott Smith and Matthew Herbert will fancy their chances from row three. Mick Banner and Ben Klukas are on row number four. Curtis Louis and Vishal Patel are starting on row number five. James Otto and Anki Stenning are on row number six. Uh, Klaus Kuika and Benjamin Watts are on row number seven. Ellis Borchet and Jolie Petit start on row number eight. Archie Forber and Oscar Choice start on row number nine. Benjamin Southgate and Daniel Hackett wrap out the top 20 on this grid. Alex Doddington and Thomas Fleming start on row 11. Thomas Massarella and Harry Torpy are on row number 12. Jack Davis and Alex Moody start on row 13. Jordan Brown and Oliver Henwood will be uh, doing a bit of a recovery job from row 14. Sam Heading has been quick today. He starts alongside another driver who's been quick today, Nathan Amos, on row 15. Caelan Burbridge and Lucas Ellingham start on row 16. And then it's Brandon Matchell and Joshua Torpy on row 17. A lot of fast drivers at the back of this grid. Random draw, of course. And are we ready for a race here? Yes, we are. Eight minutes plus one lap away. We go for X30 Senior. Heat three today at Wilton Mill. Strong, fast start from the whole field as we go through Fine Lady and up to Christmas for the first time. And here comes the number 34 of Roy Johnson up the inside, but is closed there by Alex Johnson in the 304. Very firm. Oh, it's off. Big off there. Is that Scott Smith going into the grass on the left hand side and there's also chaos down into ashby corner at least three carts involved possibly more the 44 uh, of hackett is one of them and i think the 49 possibly was in there as well we'll count them through at the end of lap number one but a bit of a scrappy start there from the x30 seniors here in this third and final heat field running through the last couple of corners so it is Alex Johnston leading by 0.3 of a second ahead of Roy Johnson good start for Ellis Borchier up five positions to third at the end of lap one Anki uh, standing is in fifth place you just see Matthew Herbert there making a move for third so it's Johnston Johnson Herbert Borchier Stenning uh, Joseph Aaron's down two places to sixth Benjamin Watts up to seventh Thomas Massarella up to eighth place Archie Forber and Oscar Joyce the top ten leaders on to the back straight then here on lap number two uh, it was Daniel Hackett Scott Smith and James Otto the drivers involved in incidents early on there's a bit of a squabble there uh, between I think that was Forber and Joyce and yeah they've fallen down a couple of positions as a result of that one Harry Torpy and Nathan Amos have got past the mechanical flag is out for the number 49 which is James Otto bottom of the order anyway and change for the lead Roy Johnson has got ahead of Alex Johnston there to the 34 to the front very experienced driver is Roy Johnson we've seen him win races uh, here before I remember him in years gone by doing some uh, absolute wizardry on tyre selection in mixed conditions. He's not going to be needing that wizardry today, but he is just relying on that sheer pace that he's got at the moment. And there he is confirmed across the start-finish line as your new leader. So it's Johnson from Johnston. Herbert in third, Borchier fourth, Stenning, Aaron's Massarella, Watts, uh, Harry Torpy, and then Nathan Amos wrapping out the top ten. Good work here from Anki Stenning and Ellis Borchier. Just holding on to the rear bumper of Matthew Herbert at the moment. As into the pits, I imagine this is James Otto, uh, the number 49. And there's a Nassau panel being replaced there. But that is uh, James's race pretty much as good as over at this early stage. Fight for third place, you see there, just going through the boots. Herbert and Borchier. Blue cart of Anki standing just behind. Thomas Massarella's having some good uh, progress in this race. Is up to sixth place now. As down the inside, there goes Borchier, another former junior, loving things in the seniors here today. They've put some great moves out there. 
the likes of Borsche and uh, Lucas Ellingham, who, by the way, is up to 11th place in this race already. Especially when it's on drivers uh, with more experience at this level than them, such as, uh, such as Matthew Herbert. So that's really, really good to see for some of our newer drivers to this level. James Otto is still in the pits, by the way. Four minutes down, four minutes to go. End of lap number five. Thomas Massarella has just set the fastest lap of the heat so far. But as I say that, Scott Smith goes even quicker. So the 37 down in 20th place at the moment is on the move. There is the number 59 of Oscar Choice making an overtake. As Oh, now someone's in trouble there. Pulling off to drivers right between Inkermans and Ashby Corner. It's the number 21. It's Thomas Massarella. So it was the driver who was having an absolute flyer has uh, obviously had some form of technical issue pulled off of his own accord and that is his race done that is a real shame for Thomas Massarella who was closing in on the top five in this heat uh, but now will record something like a 28th to 29th place finish and have a lot of work to do in the final Three minutes to go. Alice Borchier has just gone and set the fastest lap of the race so far. And in fact, look at that. He's closed right onto the rear bumper of Alex Johnston here. So the 304 followed by the, the uh, 58. Uh, the 58 four tenths quicker that last lap. This is a very good performance from Alice Borchier. And it's gone quicker again, so 0.2 of a second between second and third place. And uh, normally I would advocate working together, but I think Borchier is going to go on the move here. I think he wants to try and get up the road and catch Roy Johnson if he can. He has got time on his side, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Roy Johnson is pushing hard though, he's just set his personal best uh, first sector in the heat so far. Lucas Ellingham is also started to go even quicker 45.01 for Ellingham last time around is now up to eighth place and has just gone quicker again in the first sector this x30 junior final heat is really really starting to hot up now one minute well two minutes of it to go two minutes plus one lap two leaders with identical lap times last time around 45.32 but here comes Ellis Borsche down the inside simple as you like nothing Alex Johnston can do about that Ellis Borsche up to second place then now can he get down the road and catch Roy Johnson here he's got about a second uh, to catch up here with 90 seconds plus one lap it is doable but he's got to be absolutely millimetre perfect on every single corner entry and exit between now and the end of the race Alex Moody and Oscar Joyce have got past uh, Benjamin Watts by the way so that's 9th for Moody 10th for Joyce uh, Watts down to 11th uh, by my calculations uh, what was that 67 seconds on the clock to go so there'll be this lap another time lap and then one more so three laps for Ellis Bourget to close in there's Nathan Amos going down the inside of Harry Torpy so that's sixth place now for Nathan Amos. And the number 99 of Lucas Ellingham not too far behind as well. And I think this is a real changing of the feel in this X30 senior competition as Ellingham goes down the inside of Harry Torpy. In previous seasons, it really has been all about Harry and Josh Torpy. I think they're going to have the hands full this season in 2021. Well, Johnson starts another lap, but my goodness, Ellis Borgia has taken uh, three and a half tenths out of Johnson on that last lap, and there's still two laps of it to go. This is going to go right down to the wire, you'd imagine. 0.7 of a second is the gap. Sam Heading has done a new fastest lap of the race, 44.87, but he's down in 20th place, such as the strength and depth of this field. There is your leader coming into Oziers now onto the back straight. He's lost a little bit of time in sector number one in relation to Borchier. Uh, another tenth gone in sector number two. But it feels like this third sector is where Borchier is strong. On to the final lap of the race. There's a yellow flag out through turns one and two, and that is the number 73 
of Torpy. So Harry Torpy is out of this race and he's lost eighth place. Roy Johnson is digging in deep here. He only lost a tenth and a half on that last lap. He's just keeping Ellis Borchet at an arm's length at the moment. May have enough here to hold on for a race victory in X30 Senior. On to the back straight, just the boot to go, and I think Roy Johnson has got this under control. A lot of pressure. This has been a great performance from Ellis Borchier. We're looking forward to seeing how he does in the final, but Roy Johnson is going to take heat three here in X30 Senior. Ellis Borchier second, third for Alex Johnston, fourth Matthew Herbert, Anki Stenning in fifth, Lucas Ellingham, Nathan Amos, Alex Moody, Joshua Torpy, and Oscar Joyce wrap out the top ten.